All right, ladies. Hey, today I want to talk about boom brakes. What are they? What are they used for? And how do you use them? Well, it's a pretty simple apparatus. This is a boom brake by Captain Don. Uh, solid stainless steel. It's heavy. Uh, it's easy to use. And you need a couple more things to make it work. But what they do is they help prevent inadvertent jibes, you know, when the uh, boom just swings straight across or erratic movements of the, of the um, uh, boom. And boom strikes or boom hits are probably the second, maybe even the first leading cause of injuries and serious ones on a, um, on a sailboat. Not only is, you know, it's dangerous for people to have that boom just swinging back and forth uncontrollable, it can do damage to your boat. Well, the idea here is really pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to set this up, and I just want to give you some idea here how it works. So here we're going to attach this to the boom. I've got this that I'm going to use. Uh, you could tie it to the boom, uh, and and you know, kind of you want it probably like mine is going to be two thirds of the way back. Again, you kind of have to work with that a little bit as to where it's going to be. But look, well, the principle of it is quite simple. Friction. For example, here. Now, you've got your line. Now, you need a separate uh, line for this. And so you're going to come through here, lay it over the top. Now, that creates a certain amount of friction. Let's see if I got this tight enough here. Yeah. All right, here we are. Let's say it's like this. Now, the boom starts to swing. You see, you can still move the boom too, by the way. Now you got a little bit of friction. Let's say it's windier. Real simple. Just lay that over the top like this. Now you've got additional friction. You know, so you have to experiment with it a little bit like anything else. But that's the basic concept is to help eliminate accidental jibes or erratic movement of the uh, boom. I'm going to hook this up and show you how it works. We're just going to swing it a little bit. So a couple of things that you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need some way of attaching this to your boom. You're going to need to attach the um, the bitter end to a secure location on the boat, like I did here. Then run the line through a block and back to your cockpit so that you can control it. The idea is you're going to let this line in and out with the um, with the boom. You you don't want it slack like this. You want it to be tight. So let's, let's set this up. We'll see how it works. So you can see right now I have it cleated off. And what I'm going to do is when I work it a little bit more, I'm, I think I'm going to put, you know, one of these jam cleats somewhere, maybe even over here or something like this so that um, I can release it and tighten it quicker than having to cleat and on cleat it because I'm solo sailing, the easier you make it, the safer things are going to be for you. Now, I like how Captain Don mounted his boom brake on the boom rather than putting all that stress on that one little bar there where he's got it lashed, lashed to, the, um, to the boom. I like that. Another recommendation is to run a line from uh, the gooseneck to the end of the boom and hang the uh, boom brake on that 
so you're not putting a lot of pressure on the boom in one particular spot. Now I set that up on my boat. I'm going to try that for a little bit. I also went ahead and I put the uh, cam cleat in. Uh, you know, once you get this set, you really don't need to do a lot of uh, adjusting. So I'm probably going to be able to cut the amount of line that I have here so there's less line to get tangled up, you know, in uh, bad seas or just a trip over and so forth. Just a couple more ideas though to take a look at. Well, one of the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, we're going to put the camera out on the dock and I'm just going to push the uh, boom and you'll see how fast it swings. Then we'll hook up the boom brake, we'll do the same thing, and you'll see the safety aspects of this. So now you'll see how that friction is kind of keeping the um, boom from swinging wildly. And if I put that line, if I wrap it around that center post, it's going to tighten up even more and the boom will swing even slower, and which is probably going to be good under heavier wind conditions. And that's just how easy it is to set this up. You know, and for some additional information, check out uh, Captain Don's uh, website. Gives an explanation of uh, what we've just gone over and a little bit more in detail of how the boom brakes work and how to set them up. Well, you know, guys, as long as you're on the website, uh, Captain Don has an Excel spreadsheet to help you figure out you know, a little bit more technical about where the boom brake goes and some other things. Uh, you know, I'm basically covering recreational, cruising, sailing. You guys that are doing uh, racing, you may want to look at this form, help you figure out where the most efficient place is to mount the boom brake. Well, there you have it, guys. It's just that easy uh, to help prevent an accident and save your equipment. Boom brakes a great addition to your uh, sailing arsenal. Well, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.